Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Market shakes, BDC's downgraded, Enterprise Products Partners UPS Dividend, and Costco's Union Evolution. Aviation woes, United Airlines discovers loose bolts and Boeing faces blowout backlash. Tech tidbits, Apple's U.S. Vision Pro launch date revealed, Nasdaq surges amidst tech stock triumphs. Cryptocurrency climbs, Bitcoin breaks $45,000 ahead of potential ETF approval. Stay tuned after this short ad break to delve deeper into these headlines. Bryce Rowe, an analyst from B. Riley, has lowered the rating of shares for 10 business development companies. These include Aries Capital and Blue Owl Capital Corporation. This decision is based on unfavorable fundamentals and valuations. Rowe cautions that a decrease in short-term rates could have a negative effect on earnings. Possible rate cuts by the Federal Reserve may lead to smaller dividends. Furthermore, he indicates limited potential for growth in this sector when considering price-to-net asset value. Enterprise Products Partners has boosted its quarterly dividend by 3% to 51.5 cents per share. This will be payable on the 14th of February for shareholders recorded by the 31st of January. In addition, the company is planning $3.1 billion in new growth capital projects. It also foresees further expansion in the Permian Basin. In a significant development, employees at a Costco outlet in Norfolk, Virginia have elected to become members of the Teamsters Union. This marks the first triumph of its kind in more than 20 years. Although Costco is known for its pro-worker policies and low staff turnover, heightened stressors from the pandemic could have influenced this decision. Nonetheless, experts do not predict this will substantially affect Costco's earnings in the near future. Loose bolts were discovered on the Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes of United Airlines, resulting in a temporary grounding order issued by the Federal Aviation Administration. This incident comes on the heels of another where a metal panel detached from an Alaska Airlines flight. The repercussions of these discoveries were felt in Boeing stock value, which experienced an 8% drop. The Vision Pro Mixed Reality headset by Apple, hailed as the pinnacle of consumer electronics, is scheduled for a U.S. launch on February 2nd. The pre-order phase commences on January 19th for this device, priced at $3,499 and equipped with 256GB storage capacity. The Vision Pro operates on Vision OS, a spatial operating system featuring an ultra-high resolution display and custom silicon made by Apple. An operational failure of a door plug on Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 led to a swift decrease in cabin pressure. This incident resulted in the Federal Aviation Administration grounding 171 similar aircraft worldwide for safety inspections. The event has adversely affected the stock values of both Boeing and Spirit Aerosystems, who are responsible for manufacturing the door plug. This situation is a hindrance for Boeing, as it was on its way to recovery from past issues and vying with Airbus for supremacy in the market. The value of Bitcoin has surged past the $45,000 mark, marking a year-on-year increase of 165%. This significant rise comes in the wake of revised applications for Bitcoin Exchange Traded Funds, or ETFs, submitted by BlackRock, ARK21 Shares, and VanEck. These firms have proposed lower fees for their respective ETFs. The decision on the first-ever United States Bitcoin ETF will be made by the Securities and Exchange Commission by January 10th. In related news, stocks with a focus on cryptocurrency have displayed varied results. United States stocks commenced the fresh trading week on a positive note, with technology stocks making a comeback and chip firms like NVIDIA taking the lead. Despite a dip in Boeing shares owing to a temporary halt of its 737 MAX 9 aircraft, all standard and poor sectors concluded in the green, barring energy. The spotlight this week is on the Consumer Price Inflation Report and fourth quarter of 2023 earnings season that kicks off with major lenders such as J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and Citigroup announcing their results on Friday. And that's it for today on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay invested. Until next time, keep turning ideas into income. Farewell. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre.
Let's part ways for now, until tomorrow arrives. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.